Welcome back to Mama's Nook. Today, I am going to upcycle a pair of Dollar Tree vases by adding a design and a quote using permanent vinyl. I will show you the process from start to finish. Before I begin, I ask that you please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to be alerted of new videos. Now give me a moment to adjust my camera and then we'll get started. So before I begin in design space, I'm going to show you how I take a picture of the item I'm going to be using and put it in uh, as a template. So the first thing I need to do is open up browser. And the program is called Remove Background. Okay, this program is completely free to use. So upload image. And my image is this. I just took a photo of the base that I'm going to do. And as you can see, it took out everything in behind and just left me with the base. So I'm going to download that. And I'm finished with this now. And capture my download. And just move it over to my desktop. So now, in Cricut Design Space, I am going to upload that image. If it decides to catch up here. There we go. Upload image. Browse. And I want this face. And apply, and I'm going to uh, put it in as a print and cut so it shows the colors. I'm not going to do anything with this. It's just for placement purposes. It helps me um, to switch, uh, put the designs where I want them and see how they'll fit. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. I'm going to add it to the canvas. Now, the vase is eight and a half inches tall, so I'm just going to make it eight and a half inches. Now, I'll zoom out so you can see this. This gives me the actual size of the vase. Next, I'm going to create a cut image from a PNG, and I'll show you how to do that. This is the image. Now, you could also use Remove Background for this as well, but I want to show you how to do it in Design Space. So, Complex. More options. Change the color tolerance to something above 40. And click on this, all the spaces that you want not to cut. That. That. You can enlarge to see more detail. Let's make sure you got it clear in here. Yep. And then I'll just use the erase function to take out this around it.
I just googled uh, dolphins and came up with this design. It's a yin yang, so I thought it went well with the uh, the little saying that I'm going to put with it. Okay, and I'm going to preview it. Let's see if I can get that a little cleaner in there. Okay, so apply. And save as a cut file. And upload. Okay. So now um, I'm going to view all of my designs because there's another design I want to also pull in because I'm doing two bases. So I'm going to say add to canvas for that one. And now just find the other one. So let's And there's also a little saying that I want. Okay, so that's the three that I want to pull out of my um, saved images. Okay, so that one over there because I have to create the verse for that. So this is why I pull in a picture, uh, if, if I can, of what it is that I want to put, put on the design because it helps me placement and it helps me with size. So I'm going to make this, the, the vase is eight and a half inches tall and I have about a three inch um, width to use. So I'm going to make this two and a half inches wide. And I'm going to make this three inches high. And change it to white. And then just move it over onto and it will look something like that. Okay, so I'm happy with the size of those ones. So I put those over there for now and we'll work on the other one. Now this came in huge, 13 inches. 
so we have to resize this. And let's go with two and a half inches to see how that is. Ready to go. There we are. Now this is how I do things. It's by no means the only way to do it. Um, I can see that I, no, let me pull in this again. I didn't get everything out of the cleanup, so. I think I have that image in here again. I'll pull it in. And I'll show you the difference. I did not check to make sure that the design was locked. So when I changed the, the dimension, it only changed one side. So I'm going to go back and upload them again. So make sure that this is locked so that when you change one dimension, it will change the whole design proportionately. Now here's the difference. When I just cleaned this one up a few minutes ago, I did not notice that I had these little pieces here still. And so just uh, do a preview and enlarge the preview so that you can see all the tiny little wee things that you might have missed. You also can just go in and slice these out if, you, if you'd rather do that. Eat that one. Okay. Now, let's change this to white. Now, the verse I'm going to put on this, well, the saying, um, I wanted to say, live life with, with pur pur purpose. And I'm going to create that. So we hit text. And I'm going to do it word by word because it's, it's uh, going to be split up. And I want to change the font. And I'm going to use almond script. So I'll change each one. OK, 
Okay, so now I'm going to do a little bit of maneuvering with the lettering here. Okay, so I am going to hit it advanced and I'm going to ungroup this to letters. I want to move these three in. And then group. Same thing with this one. I want the E in just a little closer. Uh, there is a, a letter space here that you can adjust, go bigger, more space or less space, but it would do all of the letters. And I just want to move the E. So I'm going to ungroup the letters. Select the E, hold the shift key, and it will keep it in line. And just move it over a little bit. Okay, and then group that. You know what? I'm going to move the eye, the dot of the eye, over too. Just want the eye. Hmm. I can't move just the eye or the dot. I mean, sorry. Okay. Actually, that dot is really bothering me. I am going to move it. So I am going to, let me see, I'm going to duplicate the I. And I am going to slice it out. So delete this part, delete that, delete that, and now I have to remove the dot off of that one. This is just me being picky. Move the F back over. And we'll put the I here. Okay, and we'll group all of that. Now the same thing with the word with. I do not like where the I is, so I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to ungroup that again. And I'm going to copy this I, I hope. Duplicate. Go back and group this. OK. 
Okay, so now take this, ungroup it to letters. I'm going to take the I and delete it and move this one in. And the word corpus. Uh, I'll just move the capital P a little closer. And up over top. Select all of this and group. Okay, so now we just need to put the letters in place. Uh, just do a quick little. And I need to reduce this down so I can see the whole thing. So this is going to go here. And now it's just a matter of preference of what you think looks good. See how that looks. Oh, come on, keep catching it. Probably about two and a half inches would do it for width. Change it to white. Okay, and the last thing I need to do with this lettering is weld it. And now it'll all cut together. There won't be any overlaps that you'll see. So now we'll hide the base because we're ready to cut. And since everything is one color, it's going to be even easier. Okay, so we have four sections that we're going to cut. Okay, so we're going to hit make it, 
and I'm doing this in permanent vinyl. So I'm using an offcut from a previous project. Always save your offcuts because you always have sometimes little things to cut. And I'll save you from going into your big pieces. So I'm just going to position this. I have a piece of vinyl that is uh, about five and a half inches by 12. So as long as I'm within that, I'm good. Okay, so hit continue. And I'm using matte vinyl. And default pressure is fine. And it's ready to cut. So now I'm going to load the matte into Cricut. Press the flashing button. Press the flashing button again, and it'll cut. Okay, it's finished cutting. Now it's time to unload the mat, so you just push the button. Now it's time to weed the design. I'm going to remove the vial off the mat. Just cut it down to size here. Okay, and now we're just going to weed away the excess vinyl from the design. And I realize that this is probably hard for you to see because the vinyl is white. So I will just do one on camera and then Pause the camera, weed the rest, and come back. Okay, so okay, I have weeded all the designs, so we can continue now. So the first thing you want to do is clean the vase with some acetone. Just make sure that it's dry. And 
now we're ready to place the design on. I have this handy little gadget here that my husband made me that I can lay the vase here or a glass or whatever it is that I'm doing and it won't roll away on me. Okay. So we we'll put design on transfer tape. Now I do the design and the quote separately just to make it easier to put it on the vase. And just position. Oops. And the quote. And the first one's done. I have a couple other ones that I have done previously with a butterfly theme. Just going to show them. This one's Live, Laugh, Love, Believe. And this one, Accept what is, let go of what was, and have faith in what will be. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it.